Hi, and welcome to this edition of PLM 411. I'm Jim Brown with Tech Clarity. Today, I'm joined by Mike Pierce of Swivel. Welcome. Thank you. Um, i really honored to talk to Mike today because uh, you, you've implemented PLM and used it in a number of different places. So um, first, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, how, you know, how do companies recognize that they need PLM? Because I know that uh, not everybody gets it. Yeah, I think it's tricky because a lot of companies don't recognize until it's too late. And usually it's because someone's made a mistake. Right. And you know, these things, they start small spreadsheets, but they grow and they grow and they grow and they breed with each other and you have just a mess. And then no one ever has the right version and they've been spread out across the world and everybody's working off something else. And someone finally gets a product in and says, this isn't what I expect. And then they show them the documentation. They realize they're four or five versions behind. Right. And so it's usually some like horrible experience like that, that they say, <laughs> how do we do this better? And um, the natural extension is a tool like, like PLM. Uh, and it's, it's amazing how fast, once you get it set up, the change begins to happen. People realize, oh, wow, this is really making my life better. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's tremendous. Great. How did, how did you recognize, uh, when you came into Swivel, how did you recognize that uh, PLM would be helpful there? Um, I came in and, first of all, it's a very complicated item. It's small, like it doesn't look like much, but I always say, you know, per cubic inch, it's the most complicated thing I've ever worked on. Yeah. There's so many different parts in there. There's several hundred lines on the bomb. And everything is being tracked on these spreadsheets with multiple tabs. And things like hierarchies and assemblies were all tracked by how far you indented the words on the tabs. <laughs> and so it was just a bear to manage. And I, yeah. I said to the owners, I said, I can't track like this. Someone maybe could who, who developed this, but this isn't how my brain works. Like we need to put this in a system that we can track and we can update easily. Um, and so I started looking and I looked at some of the other options out there and hadn't really had a lot of experience with, with uh, the Autodesk option. But when I looked at it, for me, it was just the one that was made the most sense in my head. Yeah. Um, but everybody, you know, everybody's different in how their brain works. But yeah, yeah. well, mine doesn't work in, in indented and colored <laughs> spreadsheets, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely not. Um, you know, as, as you started thinking about a PLM for Swivel, um, and you mentioned the Autodesk product, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people believe, and, and maybe it was true for a long time, that it had to cost a lot of money and take a lot of time to, mm -hmm. to put PLM in. Um, do you think that's still true, or how do you, how do you feel about that? Uh, that's changed a, a huge amount. When I first started looking at this stuff, everything had to be implemented on site. It took months and cost thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. And I mean, just going out there looking now, you, you've dropped that cost through the floor. And there's no reason that a company at any level and startups shouldn't be looking to implement this at the ground level, right. especially if you're making complicated products. You know, a lot of startups will wait and say, no, no, I'm going to wait to put these tools in until I can afford it. And it's like, you can't afford not to if you're making complicated stuff. Yeah, well, now you can start, start and let them scale up as you, as you come along. Absolutely. Yeah, it's become, it's become, it's a tremendous resource for people now. Yeah. So. Hey, have you tracked metrics um, either at Swivel or, or what, do you, what do you see people accomplishing with PLM? Uh, either at Swivel or just in general? Uh, in general, I see the, the amount of mistakes have just disappeared. I can't say they're gone, but like the mistakes we used to make are just disappeared where we would be, we would have people making parts off of, you know, wrong versions of drawings right. and things like that. And all that's gone away, the Dropbox has gone away. All this stuff has, has been taken over by the ability to just load everything to the PLM and know, yes, this drawing number matches this part number. And in fact, it is the most recent one. So I would say we've saved in the order of ten to $15,000 in mistakes just at Swivel alone. Yeah, and yeah, catching this stuff early. and probably time as well because oh, it goes yeah. out to suppliers and it's wrong, it's got to come back and yep. yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Good. Mike, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you, it. Nice to meet you.